Hi everyone, Halloween is barely over and already all the commercials are out for Christmas stuff. I mean, whatever happened to Thanksgiving? I'm going back to my regular review videos today, so let's get started. The book I'm reviewing today is Fool's Errand by Robin Hobb. Fifteen years after the events in Assassin's Quest, Fitz is now masquerading as Tom Badgerlock and is having the peaceful life he always wanted, until he's recalled back to Buckkeep to track down Prince Dutiful. I would give this book five stars. I really enjoyed it a lot. I have, in the past, at least twice before, sworn that I was never going to read another Robin Hobb book again, but I keep coming back because I really do enjoy her books. In my opinion, Fool's Arrow is actually better than the original Assassin's books. Fitz is a lot more mature and a more likable character this time around. The good things about this book is that it has a really in-depth story and extremely likable, relatable characters. I liked all of the old characters, well, except for a few, and enjoyed lots of the new ones. I also really loved the relationships between characters. It's one of my favorite parts about Robin Hobb's books. It also had something which I think was missing from the original Assassin's books, which was some really actually funny bits. Um, some really humorous quips in it. The bad things about this book. It took forever for anything to happen. I like a book that's a little slower paced, so you get to really take things in, but it did seem like this was a little too slow. And one of my biggest problems with all of Robin Hobb's books is that I sometimes don't like the way she portrays some of her characters. Okay, let's go on to the next half. is one of my absolute favorite characters in all fantasy books, but sometimes I feel like Robin Hobb puts him through a little too much. Fitz is constantly going through horrible stuff, and I understand you have to do that to make a book interesting, to keep throwing bad stuff at your characters, but sometimes I feel like Fitz just gets the rough end every time. I really did like Fool's Errand. My biggest problem with the book was that for the first, literally, 200 pages, Nothing happens. All that happens in the first 200 pages is that we get to hear about what happened to Fitz in the last 15 years, which, to be honest, isn't a lot. And we, we got to see Fitz reunited with Shade, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and the Fool. But literally, for 200 pages, all Fitz did was reminisce and dither about returning to Buckkeep. I was like reading this bit, just go already Fitz, for goodness sake. I really do love Fitz and the Fool's relationship. That's a really fun thing to say, with Fitz and the Fool. It's one of my favorite parts in the books, and one of the reasons I do keep returning to Robin Hobb's books, especially the ones about Fitz. I liked Fitz even better in this book because I felt that he was more mature and that he got to make his own decisions, which he always wanted to do in the original books instead of mindlessly having to listen to Shade or Verity. So that was really interesting to me. I also didn't know until I read this book that Fitz is actually a natural leader. Um, in the original Assassin's books, Fitz never leads anything. He's always being led by the older people, and that's one of the reasons he was always so unhappy, was because he didn't always agree with the decisions they made, but was forced to do it anyway. I think one of the most interesting parts in Fool's Errand was Fitz and Shade's argument um, right after Fitz returns to Buckkeep. When Fitz realizes that in all the people he knows in his life, the only person that he really trusts is the Fool. And even though he didn't mention it in this part, I assume that he trusts Night Eyes. All in all, this was a really good book, and I'm looking forward to getting Golden Fool soon, hopefully. I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Comment with any suggestions or books you think I might like. And subscribe if you want to see more. And follow me on Twitter for updates about what's going on with me. Bye!